All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Bored Ape Yacht Club, which is going to be a really interesting time trying to explain what's going on with these different ape avatars. So I'll give a quick rundown of what's happening with this project, and I'll note I'll have a bunch of links in the description if you want to check this stuff out. As I talk about it, feel free to do so. But you can see here there's a ton of different ape avatars, and there are 10,000 of these bored apes in total. And each ape is totally unique because they're randomly generated to have different attributes than all of the other apes. And these apes are something called NFTs, which if you're not familiar with, will probably really confuse you. So I'll link a playlist of some of my NFT videos in the description as well, so you can learn more about that tech. But long story short, it's technology that lets digital images like these apes be provably unique, provably rare, and prove that you own one of the actual ones as opposed to a saved copy. So feel free to check that video out or those videos out should you want to learn more. But this project initially sold 10,000 of these apes for 0.08 Ethereum a piece which at current Ethereum prices is a little under $200. And if you're not too familiar with the Bored Ape Yacht Club or NFTs in general, paying $200 for what looks like a JPEG of a nice looking ape probably sounds really crazy to you. But what will really be crazy to you is when you realize what these apes are selling for now and what the top selling or top sales of the top three apes have been. So I will list those out and go over that in this video as well. But I'll say up front, a lot of people dive into projects in the NFT space trying to make a whole bunch of money really fast, thinking they can buy something, make 10 times their money back in a couple of weeks and sell the thing and move on. I think that is really the wrong attitude to bring to the Board Ape Yacht Club or BAYC because the really special value that's being generated in this project is all about the community of people that have purchased these apes and are really doing a whole lot of cool stuff to basically lift each other up and bring value to themselves and the rest of the community. So I'll certainly talk about that too, but I've scrolled through quite a few of the different apes here. So as you can see, I think these are really very well executed, which is usually not the case when it comes to random generated images. It's hard to make them look cohesive or well put together. But in this case, all these look really well thought out, really well executed. So kudos to the Bored Ape crew that actually put this project together. I think the art itself is excellent. And I think that's part of the reason this has become so popular is people love using these things in their Twitter avatars, their avatars online. They become a sort of animal mascot for the person who owns the ape. So I'm all about that. If that makes you happy, if that brings you some value, go for it. People do the same thing with CryptoPunks, although I think these are infinitely more fun. So up to you where you see the value, both obviously high profile NFT projects. But checking out some other links here, this is the overall basic roadmap that was shown at the time of the sale of the apes, but there's been some really special surprises that have happened that have brought even more value to the project, which I'll certainly talk about. So 10,000 apes, the 0.08 F cost in the beginning, which I really wish I would have been here to buy some apes in the beginning, which I was not. But hey, you miss school, you miss out sometimes. A cool thing this project does too is ownership and commercial usage rights. So if you own a particular image of an ape, you can use that commercially. You can sell that image to be used commercially however you want. So it does have ownership of the artwork itself, which I think is a pretty huge value add. There's something called the bathroom where it's kind of like the Reddit experiment where you can place one pixel in a certain timeline and then draw stuff together. I don't have that loaded up right now, but it's actually pretty impressive that people drew cohesive images. I always think it's kind of magical when the internet actually works together instead of just destroying everything, which I will say is a cool part of the ape crew as well. And then this part at the end, gain additional benefits through roadmap activations. So today is June 19th. Yesterday, there was a massive, massive unveiling for the apes, which is a huge part of this that was actually not even on the roadmap. So I'll talk about that shortly. But first up, I'll cover the apes that I do own. I bought two apes so far. And when you look at the sales prices for these apes, it's really bananas, I guess, if I want to be dumb and use that pun. But currently the floor price or the lowest price you can buy an ape at is something like 2.5 Ethereum. We'll check that out in a little bit, but that's over $5,000. So just setting expectations right now, if you want to ape in and get your own ape, it's not going to be cheap and people will probably think you're a bit crazy if you buy these. But I actually don't think you're crazy if you do that sort of a thing. So I will walk through why I feel that way. But I have two apes currently. I like this ape quite a bit. I also have this little fella. I can't afford to buy the apes that I super duper love, but I'm happy with the apes I have. What can I say? So when it comes to using OpenSea, I'll place some links 
for OpenSea in the description, so you can go here and browse all the apes to your heart's content. But right now I have this filtered on price low to high, which is set at the very top here, and also buy now. So right now the floor price or the lowest buy it now price is 2.5 Ethereum. If I refresh this, it might even be a little bit higher since these apes are selling out fast since yesterday's announcement. And I, I literally loaded these pages like, I don't know, 30 minutes ago. Now the floor price is 2.635 F. So that's a significant, that's a couple hundred bucks more in just a few minutes. So these apes are kind of flying off the shelf, so to speak. This is a really darn good looking ape if anyone wants to snag him up. So this is filtered this way. So I'll link this in here if you want to scroll through and buy an ape. OpenSea is the place to buy apes if you want to ape in and become a member of the Board Ape Yacht Club, but obviously not cheap to get in. And trying to justify that value for you or other people might be a really interesting task, but I'll do my best to explain my complete thoughts as we move through this video. But I want to check out the top three ape sales of all time just to bring some attention to just how much money these apes can sell for. So this is the top sale of all time to the best of my knowledge. The top sale happened on May 31st for basically 50 Ethereum, which at current prices, I think would be, it'd be over $125,000, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember totally. I think it was a bit more at the time of the sale. I wish it would show the actual numerical value that Ethereum right now in the moment. But this was a huge sale. Obviously, whoever made that sale has been really pumped. They're actually a very, very active member of the community. I'm blanking on their name right now because I'm still pretty new to the Ape Crew. I think it's anonymous NFT is the person who sold it. But what's cool is this has changed lives of people who bought in early and got their apes early. If you get a six finger payout from a digital ape, that's pretty cool. And what's also really cool here is both people are really happy. The person who bought it is really happy. The person who sold it is really happy. So it's just a win win. I don't think you should go into projects like this expecting to make money because if you do that, let's say you sell it instantly, even if you make double your money in 24 hours, which is amazing by pretty much any sort of investment return, if you want to think about it like that. And then two months later, the same thing sells for 10 times more than what you sold it for. You're going to feel bad because you didn't hold on to it and sell it for all that much more money. And if you held on to it and it lost all the value, you're also going to feel really bad about making a bad investment purchase, which I don't love thinking about NFTs or even NFT collectibles as investments. I think you should buy them to support the artists, buy them to support the creators of the projects who are doing cool things, buy them to be involved in the communities. If you're buying just to make a quick buck, it's a roller coaster ride. So just get ready for that and set your expectations appropriately. I tell everyone, be willing to lose everything. And if you're happy with that, then feel free to buy an NFT because that should be your kind of baseline expectation. This is the second highest ape sale of all time. And you'll notice these particular apes have very, very rare properties where you can click in here and kind of check this one out. So trippy fur is a 0.77% chance. The trippy captain's hat is a 0.65% chance. And then you have both of those working together, which is an extraordinarily rare combination. You're taking two sub 1% things and making them work together. So that is why this ape is so valuable is that it's exceptionally rare and a really great matching of patterns here. So this is the second highest sale at 28 Ethereum, an insane amount of money. Once again, you go into properties here and you have trippy fur and then a very rare mouth as well that has the bubble gum. So people will look for really rare apes like this, rare combinations, and also rare combinations that have very aesthetic properties to them. And they'll do that to try to find the best ape possible that kind of fits your own vibe or how you might perceive yourself if you're going to use an ape avatar. The third one here, all three happen to be trippy fur. We have some trippy fur and also a four trait. So the apes can have traits or properties from four to seven. And if you got a four trait ape, you might feel bad to not get seven because more traits might seem like a better deal. But in this case, four trait is actually the rarest amount of traits for a, an ape. So this one was a six trait, which I think is actually the most common. I think it goes four, seven, five, and then six. But obviously people are kind of looking through all the different combinations particular rare properties when deciding what to pay for these apes. It's ultimately up to the buyer to decide the value and the seller to decide what they want to sell the thing for. So that's been the top three ape sales of all time. Insane amounts of money. There's an offer on this one right now for $56,000, but the person's asking for close to double that. So I doubt they will sell it, especially if ape price is going so bananas right now. But been really cool to see this and actually remember this name, Jimmy, from the ape discord. So they're a very, very active member of the community. 
So been super cool to see this and see these sales. And I think when you look at this video as a point in time in the Board Ape Yacht Club, in NFTs in general, if you're watching this six months from now, a year from now, just checking out the floor prices of these apes, maybe it's way up, maybe it's way down. No one can really predict this stuff, but I think it's a fascinating snapshot to just be like, here's where we are now. Where is this six months from now, six years from now? Um, I'll be very curious to watch that myself, especially since I own a couple of apes. And I'll, I'll give a quick shout out too to something called Rarity Tools. I love this particular tool for checking out how rare an ape is. So you can just enter in the ID of a particular ape. So I have ape number 4073. So if I look in 4073 here, do a quick look up to see the traits, I get a rarity score of 91.59, which isn't so bad. And then you can also see the current floor price based on traits. So the floor price for an ape with a seven trait count is currently three Ethereum or with gray fur is three Ethereum. And you can kind of see what different values of different traits are and then the appropriate floor value. So if I go on this one, which Rarity Tools ranks as the rarest ape, it's kind of a badass DMT cyborg ape combination. You can see with cyborg eyes, the floor price or the lowest price you can get any ape on the market with cyborg eyes is 8.25F which is over 16 grand, so not cheap should you want your own personal cyborg ape. But I find this to be a really fun tool, just go in here, look around, you can see all the different traits that exist, just how many apes have that trait. So 406 apes have cheetah fur, which I know is a super duper popular combination. And then you can check out the rarest apes that have cheetah fur. So this is a king cheetah for eating pizza, which all these things are super valuable. So I have no doubt that this is an extremely, extremely valuable ape when it comes to that. But that being said, yesterday there was an absolutely insane announcement. So as part of the Board Ape Yacht Club, which we checked out their official website here. So I'll definitely link that if you want to go in here and kind of snoop around. Part of what the Yacht Club offers is a membership to the actual Yacht Club. And within that membership, you get periodic bonuses or... Uh, special things for being a part of the ape crew and what they did yesterday was a complete surprise announcement which was the board ape kennel club so anyone who owned an ape at the time of the announcement got a free dog nft as part of the board ape kennel club so all you had to do was go to this website and there's little if you connect a metamask you can just click that i'm not going to actually do this and enter my password right now but you connect a metamask you can just go in and claim your free dog for a very short timeline. So basically at, I think it's June 25th of 2021 will be the cutoff point. So any ape holder who didn't go in and claim their free dog NFT actually won't be able to in the future, which means almost without question, these cute little doggos will be more rare than the apes because there's no way all 10,000 apes are going to claim all 10,000 doggos. And if that did, that'd be one of the most magical things I've ever seen happen because people just don't remember to do stuff or don't know things are happening. I'm sure people bought apes and forgot they had them and we'll, <laughs> maybe someday they'll check up prices and be kind of blown away. But this was unannounced, completely unannounced. It just happened randomly. They said that there would be a big announcement or there would be an announcement of some sort. And I was expecting some kind of partnership or maybe some kind of simple NFT. But them dropping a brand new series of NFTs completely free, you didn't have to pay anything except Ethereum gas prices, which was like six or seven dollars a dog. And <laughs> when you see the current prices of these dogs, you'll see why that's a really darn good deal for anyone who happened to own an ape. But there was a frenzy on the market to buy up the apes to get the chance to get a dog that hadn't had one claimed yet. I'll say if you want to go in and buy an ape now to get a dog, if you watch this video very close to its release. You'll connect a MetaMask. There's a way to input the ape number to see if it still has the dog available to be claimed because the current owner of the ape could have claimed the dog already. I'll say almost every single ape I've looked at has had the dog claimed already. So just don't expect to be able to do that unless you have a ton of Ethereum to buy a very rare ape that decided not to mint their dog. But unlikely, very unlikely, but you can purchase the dogs that have yet to be shown or visualized if you want to do that right now. So I'll go ahead and, and check that out. So these dogs, these are all unrevealed. So they'll all have random properties just like the apes do. So, oops, so I lost my little gallery view. But they'll have the same random properties that the apes do, which means there'll be some really rare doggos, and then there'll be some much less rare doggos. But currently in their unrevealed state, I haven't refreshed this in a while, so I'll refresh this. 
but 1.3 Ethereum is the floor price or the lowest buy it now price. And the next one is 1.39 followed by 1.4. So I think one Ethereum is something like $2,500 right now. So you're talking over $2,000 given to every one of the 10,000 apes for free, just like a free airdrop of like, hey, here's two and a half thousand dollars, if not more. That's banana. Like that's so crazy. I keep saying bananas because I'm thinking about apes, which isn't helpful. But that's so much money to give away to a project for for nothing. You're just paying the the fee to actually just get your dog. And I'll also say OpenSea has a basically when you sell something, the creator gets some money back. I'm blanking on the proper terminology right now, but they get 2.5 percent back. So if I go to the kennel club. I think they explain that there. Where have I lost? So here's the kennel, the roadmap. Kennel Club. Aha. So if I go back here, the royalty fee. So there's a 2.5% royalty fee on the secondary sales of OpenSea. And the Board Ape Yacht Club has decided to donate all of those proceeds to no kill animal shelters, which I think is so amazing. Because when we think about how much money is going to be generated by that 2.5% royalty fee, we're honestly over time probably talking millions of dollars that this crew is going to be able to give back to animal shelters. So the team is making no money on doing this work. And they're also giving essentially tons of money to every holder of an ape. And that's such an incredible, incredible community move that I can't really think of a better project in the space that's doing right by the community, doing the right thing to the people that own these things. I it's been really wild to see and be a part of, even though I came into the Ape Crew super duper late. But if you're wondering why people are so up and excited about this project, things like this, they're very uncommon in the space. You see a lot of scams in the NFT space. You see a lot of not well thought out projects, rushed projects. That's, that's what I expect to see. So they're really changing that and doing the best to support the community, support the people who purchase their NFTs to keep giving back to them. Because this project, I'm sure, has been successful well beyond the expectations of the creators. And I also just want to refresh this page to check out what the current floor price is. So it was 1.3 with the next one as being 1.39. Now it's 1.35. So it went up a little bit, although there's some lower price doggos now in between before the 1.39 jump. And if you want to check this out, I'll link all these these pages that are sorted like this in my description. So you can just go here and check out the doggos. Although, like I said, in one week from the time of when I'm recording this video, they'll release the actual visualizations of the dogs so you can see what they all look like and actually see the fully rendered dog, just like you can see all the apes. So I'm really excited for that moment as someone who wasn't able to mint or buy an ape at the time of the initial sale. And as I talked about before, when you think about the value of this project and what you're paying for an ape, which is impossible to explain to almost anyone, trust me, I've tried, you're talking $5,000 plus to buy a, a digital ape. You know, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a tough one to explain. It's a tough one to logic out in your own brain. But then you're like, well, they actually gave a free dog that I could sell right now for almost three grand. If not, I'd have to do the quick calculation, but you're getting a huge amount of that money back. And let's say I were to sell my dog for 1.3, I have a bot offer for less than this ape is actually worth for 2.2, and I paid, let's see, 1.85. So I'd make a really substantial ape profit should I want to flip these things, but I'm actually not going to do that, which might make you think I'm crazy. But I really believe in this project. I believe in where it's going, and I believe that the team that's behind it is going to keep delivering more and more value to the people that hold it. Plus, Sometimes weird things just make you happy, and it's been a really insane year. So things like the Board Ape Yacht Club, seeing this community rally together, which they have a Discord that's almost always hopping with people just having a good time. There's all these people in here that are also strange enough to pay somewhere between hundreds to hundreds of thousands of dollars for digital apes that just come here and talk, and they talk about all sorts of stuff. They form little groups. They help each other out. They help people find a place to live or find a job. You, it's just a group of people that have really come together to lift each other up all around the weird digital ape avatar Port 8 Yop Club NFT. So right here, there's a never selling GIF going down. So these are the things that make this special to me. This is a special moment in time that's actually really hard to find on the internet. When you think about the internet and how things have went down and how rare it is to actually find people that are willing to work together, that are trying to do something positive together rather than just make themselves be famous or tear each other down, 
that's kind of my baseline expectation for how people behave online is to get famous or make a bunch of money or lift up their own project or kind of kind of just do stuff for their own benefit without thinking about the benefit of others. And at least at this particular moment in time, it's really clear that members of the Board Ape Yacht Club are doing their best to lift each other up. When there's a huge ape sale, they celebrate as one as opposed to throwing down a bunch of jealousy or hating on the person who did a big sale. It's just good vibes all around. So 2021 definitely needs more good vibes. And I've been really excited to see that positivity from all the people in the Board Ape Yop Club. And also say a favorite aspect of mine of all these apes. This is loading a little bit slow here. But this black cap, if I could buy a real version of that, I would love it. I'd also love an ape with one. So if there are any ape whales watching this video, feel free to send me an ape with a black cap on. I'll post my Ethereum address in the description <laughs> should you want to give me a few thousand dollars worth of ape for no reason. But yeah, I'd, I'd just say don't underestimate the value of community. And I'd really implore people when you think about building a business or even doing your own NFT project, don't ignore the value of the community. Do what's right by them. Really do your best to set up a great community. Honestly, there's so much luck involved to get a good community to form like this one that this might just be one of those like lightning in the bottle moments where everything was just right to make this thing take off and everything was just right to bring together a really good group of people at a solid time. That's not to say there aren't troublesome people in the group. Of course there are. But I've seen this overall being super positive, super uplifting, and everyone there is just kind of celebrating and enjoying the ride while it lasts because these things don't tend to last forever. So I think you really have to make the most of it while it's there. But I'm really pumped to see what happens with the apes over time. There's been so much movement so fast on all these different apes. I just like refreshing every so often, like, what is the current ape floor? So I did this one for 2.635 with that yellow hat cell. It did. <laughs> so that's already gone. So we're just watching these things happen in real time. And it's exciting to watch if you like nerding out about online communities, online culture, art, technology. I think the Board 8 Yop Club is kind of where it's at right now. So feel free to join the Discord and talk to all the people. Maybe if you're crazy like me, you can pick up an ape or two and actually join in. Or if you miss the apes and you want to get in a bit cheaper, I actually think these dogs are really cool. So I'm excited to see how the dog project goes over time. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if in the future, the people who held on to their dogs got something really special in return. Maybe the dog digs up something, you get a cool prize or a cool NFT in return. So this team's been doing everything right. The community has been really solid on lifting each other up. So I've been pumped to see that. So that's why I wanted to call this out in a video. It's just one of those things that if you don't know what's happening, it'll be the most insane. Like, what are, what are these people paying for apes? Like, what are these people paying for unrevealed digital dog pictures? Like, are you all insane? Like, maybe. Maybe they're all crazy. But it's, it's been a really wild ride, and it's kept me uh, pretty active in my mind just thinking about it. But that is really it for this video. I want to give one quick shout out to another project that I think has similar good vibes. There's also a project called Million Dollar Rat, which essentially has a bunch of different rats or rat NFTs that can win you prizes if you own one. So right now, I think they're 0.18 Ethereum, and they do have prizes, including CryptoPunks and also apes. So I've actually won a prize of Daft Punk NFT from, uh, what's his name? Crazy Tuna? Silly, Silly Tuna, I'm pretty sure. So Silly Tuna is the person who sold a CryptoPunk for, I think, 11 million. And they did a draw where Silly Tuna donated some NFTs and actually won one of his NFTs, which was a Daft Punk NFT. So it's really weird how tight knit and close the NFT community is at this present moment in time where those like weird random encounters can happen between you and someone who's like relatively famous in the space, let's say. But this is a cool project. If you want to pick up a rat, also has a really cool chill community, which is why I'm calling them out. But feel free to check them out. It's not the same as the random apes, but just a fun, chill Discord if you want to talk to some people about NFTs and just learn more about the overall space. But that's it for this video. It's a bit of a long one, but I think it was worth talking through. If you liked this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button to let me know. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe. I'll do my best to keep creating videos just like this. But that's it for this one. Thanks again for watching. Until the next.